A reading from the book of Sirach. My child, conduct your affairs with humility, and you will be loved more than a giver of gifts. Humble yourself the more, the greater you are, and you will find favor with God. What is too sublime for you, seek not. Into things beyond your strength, search not. The mind of a sage appreciates proverbs, and an attentive ear is the joy of the wise. Water quenches a flaming fire, and alms atone for sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, you have not approached that which could be touched, and a blazing fire and gloomy darkness, and storm and a trumpet blast, and a voice speaking words such that those who heard begged that no message be further addressed to them. No, you have approached Mount Zion and the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and countless angels in festal gathering, and the assembly of the firstborn enrolled in heaven, and God the judge of all, and the spirits of the just made perfect, and Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and the sprinkled blood that speaks more eloquently than that of Abel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to On the Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees, and the people there were observing him carefully. He told a parable of those who had been invited, noticing how they were choosing the places of honor at the table. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not recline at table in a place of honor. A more distinguished guest than you may have been invited by him, and the host who invited both of you may approach you and say, give your place to this man, and then you would proceed with embarrassment to take the lowest place. Rather, when you are invited, go and take the lowest place, so that when the host comes, he may say to you, my friend, move up to a higher position. Then you will enjoy the esteem of your companions at table. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Then he said to the host who invited him, 
when you hold a lunch or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or your wealthy neighbors in case they may invite you back and you have repayment. Rather, when you hold a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind. Blessed indeed will you be because of their inability to repay you, for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know about you, but I watched a lot of soccer this last month. And uh, I don't understand the game, and maybe you understand it better, but it was, it was good. It was good to uh, get involved and be part of the excitement. Uh, the World Cup, of course, was played in, in South Africa. And there were many stories, there were many stories that came out of the, uh, the games. Uh, some were inspiring and some are not. And I'd like to share with you, not an inspiring soccer story, but in, an inspiring baseball story. Uh, Amer America's uh, favorite pastime. And maybe you already heard this story. It's about, it happened about a month ago, Amanda Gar Garalaga, a pitcher for the Detroit Tigers, almost pitched a perfect game, a no-hitter. And the last batter of the game hit the ball along the first uh, base line. And the umpire, uh, Jim Joyce, made a terrible, terrible mistake. He called the batter safe when he should have called him out. And every, it was obvious. It was obvious to everybody. Now, Amanda Garga Gar 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 would have lost his temper and thrown a tantrum and protested uh, on, you know, this call. Uh, but, but instead, what did he do? He accepted. He accepted it in, with a great deal of grace and apologized. And apologized in the apology of the uh, umpire, saying it was just a mistake. Uh, we are all human, and it's just part of life. Now I believe, I believe his uh, reaction was a wonderful, wonderful lesson in humility. In today's gospel, Jesus says, everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Humility. Humility is accepting life as it is, as God's will for us. And Jesus did that. What was done to him was, was not fair. There was no fairness, no fairness in the cross, but he accepted it as his Father's will for him. And he accepted it with a great deal of humility and love. Let's all live our lives like Jesus. Let's not see life as unfair. Let's not compare ourselves to others. Let's see our lives as God's will for us. Let's accept Whatever cross, whatever cross comes our way, let, accept, let us accept it with humility and love, just, just as Jesus did. Amanda did it, with God, and with God's grace, I think we can all do the very same thing. And it'll, we, can be, we can be a real inspiration, an inspiration to others. We can bring out the very best in ourselves, and the very best in others. So let's all remember Jesus' words. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. <laughs>